we're seeing with some uh, stable coins like Luna, the bottom just fall off. It's like uh, the Titanic hitting an iceberg and then it's just going down really fast. Um, and we've seen uh, all other cryptocurrencies also, including Bitcoins, taking a big hit. So is your party over? Absolutely not. And I think what, what is, is happening, happening is uh, it is happening across, be it stock market, be it you know, any other market that you see, right? The same is happening with crypto market because the Fed has increased the rate, the, the liquidity is drying up. You're seeing same thing with start of valuation, start of funding, all across the market, right? Uh, crypto is, is an asset class in the making. It's new, it's defining the rules of the new internet. So the party has just begun. Right. Like and you are a very dangerous party. I mean, a party with potentially no rules, a party where the cops are keeping a very close eye and they could come barging in with sirens and everybody in the party could end up in trouble. I think that's a very wrong representation of what crypto industry is. And I wouldn't be sitting here if that was the party I was part of. Uh, the party that I am part of is building the new internet. In 90s, 90s, you know, uh, when the internet was just starting, I think there were a lot of skeptics We were saying the same thing about the internet, that it is, uh, it is used for all the wrong reasons. Now we have seen that uh, crypto has moved away from Silk Road, it has now come to the main street, and tomorrow it would be part of the Wall Street as well. What's your view on cryptocurrencies? Like, do, do they make sense to you, or is this a party which makes absolutely no sense to you? Well, I would hate to say that it doesn't make sense, you know. Uh, I believe don't be a skeptic of something you're not an expert at. No, don't uh, be diplomatic. This just sounds <laughs> like you trying to weave a very diplomatic answer. Tell me what you think. Well, I've always debated uh, between gold and crypto, for example. Uh, I have been more favorable to gold and I've been, you know, adding gold in my portfolio. I'm, I'm probably like 15, 20% old school gold right now. Uh, the problem... How much crypto are you? Zero. Yeah, I have never, ever transacted, never bought a single crypto. So it doesn't ever. make sense to you then? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I, I realize that he's feeling pressure. They just walk out together on the cab. You know, so I have to go back. I might meet it in the evening. Now, how do I keep it sane and diplomatic? But tell me. No, see, the, the thing with crypto is uh, I get why we need something like the crypto. I, I think the Federal Reserve in America, whatever, the 11 trillion they've printed in the last 18 months, it's more money than they've ever printed and backed by nothing essentially, right? Uh, I think they've been obnoxious in how cavalier they've been with their money printing. Uh, if you were to put in so much excessive supply of a certain commodity, it is bound to devalue. But it's a mystery why the dollar is strengthening in the last quarter, it's strengthening even this month. For those reasons, I think an asset class outside of that domain makes sense to me. Uh, why that asset class has to be crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, that I don't get. Uh, I get the finite nature of, you know, Bitcoin and uh, these crypto coins, but uh, I do not see why for that use case this is the answer. I'm not able to draw that bridge.